Hello friends, this is Rachel Archelaus and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to ask your higher self a yes or no question and get an immediate answer. So why would this be helpful? Why would you want to ask your higher self a yes or no question? Well, it's like taking intuition into your own hands. It's being deliberate about it. So we all know the benefits of listening to our intuition. It's like that shortcut to the future, to having a direct connection to the universe or source or God or whatever you call it. It's always giving us the right answer. So if we can deliberately use our intuition instead of having to wait for it to come, then we are so far ahead of the game. Our life is gonna be so magical in no time. So here's how to do the yes or no technique. I want you to take a breath, let go, relax, Move your shoulders around, you know, maybe you move your ankles, really let the day go. And just imagine that you're in a really great space, so you're on vacation or you're with the people you love, and allow your body to feel that. So really listen to your body, listen to the insides, and see what happens when you put yourself deliberately into a really good space. So just take a breath, close your eyes and imagine that you're on that amazing vacation, that you're totally relaxed. Imagine that you're having fun, you're happy, and see what happens to your body, right? It probably relaxes, your heart probably feels more open and expanded. Maybe your shoulders go back a little bit. You feel lighter, right? So. These are the sensations of a yes. And so now I want you to kind of close your eyes and imagine a really stressful day that you had or getting into a fight with your boss or your spouse. So close your eyes again and really get into that body space of stress, of unhappy, of depressed. What happens? You get heavier. Your chest contracts. Right? It goes inward. Maybe your shoulders move forward. Right? You feel dense. You feel darker. That's a no feeling. And so now we're going to try it with a question so that you can feel the subtlety of the answer. So when we ask the question, you're going to feel the answer probably before you're even done asking the question because your higher self is you. It knows what you're asking it, right? So you don't actually have to get the whole sentence out before you get an answer. So that's number one. Number two, it's going to be very subtle. So if you just felt yourself on the beach relaxing and you felt totally great and open, your yes may be just a small fraction of that. So a good question to ask your higher self is anything you're considering right now. So maybe you're considering um, purchasing trucking poles like me or going on a vacation, switching jobs, buying a new house, right? You want to think about um, something you're trying to decide on right now. And then you want to ask yourself in this format, higher self, is it most beneficial for me to do this thing right now? So for me, is it most beneficial for me to buy these trekking poles right now? And I'll get a yes or a no, and it'll be that very subtle openness or contraction, right? So for you, you'll insert higher self. Is it most beneficial for me to change jobs right now? And you're doing two things when you ask that particular question. You're saying, is this the most beneficial thing for me to do? Because there's obviously lots of beneficial things you could do right now. Is this the most beneficial thing? And you're using the term right now, because sometimes it will be the most beneficial thing in a week or a month. But we are just asking for right now. Higher self, is this the most beneficial thing for me to do right now? And I want you to ask your question. I'll pause for a minute and then I want you to tell me what you felt. Okay, so troubleshooting. Sometimes people say that they didn't feel anything at all. That's okay. So maybe try a different question. And then also I really want you to examine yourself. Are you getting an answer before you're done asking the question and you're just not noticing it? Or are you holding on too tightly? Because if you're holding on too tightly, if you're asking and then kind of like clenching up and waiting for something to come in, it's not going to happen because you're not making space for the answer. So we got to stay loose here. We got to stay open. 
And I hope that with those tips, you will be able to master this method of asking your higher self a yes or no question. I have a lot more tools and techniques like this over at sephiris.com. Um, and also intuitiveart.com will teach you how to have a full two-way conversation with your higher self way beyond this yes or no. So go check those out if that interests you. All right, lots of love and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to Intuitive Art and you've never done it with me, go to intuitiveartacademy.com for your free class. You'll learn how to have a conversation with your higher self in three easy steps. That's intuitiveartacademy.com. And if you're already a pro or you've done the free class and you want to learn more about creating abundance from your purpose, go to workyourpurpose.com and you'll watch a free video series all about what it takes to create a purposeful income from doing what you love. All right, enjoy and I will see you later. Bye-bye.